Weasel here with a video of my gasifier, the as built. I'll be running it here in a couple hours once I finish uh, some uh, minor adjustments and getting the hopper filled up and ready to go. Um, this is uh, the uh, follow-up of my previous video, which my, has my 3D model. Um, I have a few amenities on here. One is a magnahelic gauge where I use that to measure the uh, pressure on the inside my hopper as well as downstream of the uh, hopper which would be this port right here and uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to monitor the pressure across my hearth and or across the orifice plate to see if that gives me any indications as to when I would shake the grate. I have a thermocouple wire hanging here which is the one that goes into my orifice plate so I can actually measure that temperature and then way down here I have another port and I don't have my thermocouple in there yet but that's the one that I'm going to use to um, uh, measure the temperature at the grate. I've got a small cyclone with a ball valve on it and it also has an additional port if I want to I can take some pressure readings off of that. Uh, over here I've got about a five seven gallon uh, old canister I had that uh, I filled up with stainless steel shavings from a machine shop and uh, I passed the gas up through the shavings and uh, I just recently this last week uh, put a, a wand in the top of it underneath the cover and uh, so I can uh, either spray an oil or a water on top of the uh, stainless steel shavings to clean the, clean the gas or to help clean the gas and I haven't um, uh, tried it yet. I, I want to use oil as an oil wash, but it is five degrees out today And I'm using automatic transmission fluid and it's a little too thick for my electric fuel pump as well as my little washer pump so I may have to abandon that and either not use it at all or uh, Mix up a little bit of antifreeze and water and just uh, use that instead Basically gas comes out of there comes down this pipe into my flare tube and my flare tube is uh i uh, got a spark plug welded on it and I have a uh, auto ignition system from a furnace so I don't have to stand with a torch while my gasifier is running. I've got uh, this thing will hold about 120 pounds maybe even 160 pounds of uh, 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 pellets which is uh, what I'm going to be using today. Um, I don't have a good source for uh, dry wood chips so I'm just gonna uh, run again on pellets I did it the very first time with some fair results but again I'm still experimenting and fine-tuning and trying to get my gasifier so it uh, uh, produces a good quality gas for a, a good duration of time uh, before I even bother filtering it you don't see a cooler in my system at all and that's basically because it's five degrees outside it's the middle of winter and I'm not too worried about needing to cool gas down it'll be plenty cool by the time it gets out the pipe even though I do suspect that this particular gasifier might be good for about 250 to 300,000 BTUs an hour. Uh, ball valve up on top is which I use to regulate my air pressure. And I'm using a, uh, an old vacuum cleaner with the hose turned around backwards so I can actually pressurize this particular gasifier. I run it between 5 and 7 inches of water. And, uh, and even with the spring loaded lid, uh, 7 inches is about, about the limit before she starts bleeding off underneath the lid. But uh, if I need to, I'll just put stronger springs on if I need, feel I need to run a higher pressure. So hopefully later today I'll be able to uh, get another video out and uh, of the actual uh, uh, unit running and we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Alright. Diesel here. We've been running this thing for about an hour. I don't know if you can see my temperatures. So my orifice is up to about 1400. My grate is at 13 or 1130. I'm running about 5 inches of water. Believe it or not, there's a flame there. Yeah, you can kind of see it now. Flame is hard to see. There, now we can see it. So we've been running about an hour. I see my magnahelic is junk. See the car is coming right through it. That's no good. 